What's up YouTube, Adam here, and in this video, I'm gonna be bringing you a incremental, in fact, no, it's too big to be incremental, a huge update to my setup that I've got here in my home office. Now, I'm gonna be bringing you a whole setup tour in the not too distant future, so keep your eyes peeled for that one. But for now, like I say, I've got two huge changes in my setup, and I'll take you through them. Now, a little while ago, I brought you a video showing you my new six 4K screens and how I went about running those. Now, at the time, I was using an ATI card in the external GPU, but I've upgraded them to these absolute beasts, the KFA2 GTX 980 Hall of Fame Edition, and these things are absolutely insane. So I've gone ahead and put one of these inside the Sonic case, and I'll leave links to where you can purchase all of this stuff down in the video description. And now, three of my monitors are being run by the Mac Pro, and three of them by this absolute beast of a card, and shortly, I'm going to be bringing you a full-blown Hackintosh running two of these cards on these six 4K screens. Now, in addition to that, I have gone for some absolute monstrous storage from QNAP. QNAP, very well known for their incredible NAS devices, of which I've brought various reviews for on the channel right here. But these ones are something very, very unique that no one else is doing. These are not only NAS network attached storage devices, they're not only iSCSI SAN, they're also Thunderbolt direct attached storage. So any machine that's Thunderbolt capable, you can plug this straight in over a single cable and use it as direct storage that's plugged directly into your machine, which is incredible. Now, what is very, very important when you're setting up these multi-disc systems, like a NAS, for example, is that you use a purpose-built drive. Now, these ones, my absolute favorite, highly recommend these, been using these for a very, very long time, HGST, Desk Star NAS drives. These are specifically purposefully built for the job. Now, I got these in boxes of four times six terabyte drives, beautifully presented, really, really nicely delivered as well. You're not gonna have a problem with broken drives with these and they go on forever. Now, in here, I've not got eight drives. I've not got 16 drives. I have got 24 six terabyte drives, giving us a huge 148 terabytes of raw storage. Storage. Now, around on the back here of the TVS 871T, which is the model of the device from QNAP, you can see all of the ports. We've got two Thunderbolt ports to give you the ability to daisy chain, and you can see we've got all of the expansion units plugged in here, two extra ones in my case. You've also got four gigabit Ethernet ports and two 10 gigabit Ethernet ports as well. Now, if you want to use 10 gigabit networking, you're thinking it's extremely expensive. Well, no, because Netgear do this range of switches. This one in particular, the XS708E, comes in at a phenomenal price, and this has got a full eight 10 gigabit ports on it. Now, these do auto switch down to 100 meg or even gigabit, so you can use these right the way throughout wherever it is that you're trying to use it. But the important thing here, 10 gigabit networking at a phenomenal price. Now, the next thing you're asking yourself is how can I do 10 gigabit Ethernet from a Mac Pro or any kind of Mac that only supports one gigabit? Well, here you go. From Sonnet, you've got the twin 10 gigabit Ethernet Thunderbolt 2 adapter. Plug this thing in over Thunderbolt. Away you go. You have got a full-blown two 10 gigabit Ethernet ports that you can plug straight into any 10 gigabit switch. Now, these devices just look spectacular. We've got here, like I say, the QNAP 871T, which is the main Thunderbolt unit. And then we've also got the expansion units as well. And we can have a whole bunch of these added on to give us all of that extra storage and we can group it all together. Now, look at the speed of this storage. This is faster than a lot of SSDs. 751 megabytes per second on the right, 740 on the read. And you can see there in the file explorer window that you can see that it's creating that file and also deleting it when we're finished. I'm not trying to trick you. Insanely fast storage. I've actually seen it go up to about 850 to 900 megabytes per second. And that's over Thunderbolt or over 10 gigabit Ethernet. Now, the interface itself is phenomenal. You can see here we've got the main device, the 871T, plus also the expansion units as well, the TX800Ps. And like I say, with the Thunderbolt, you can continue to daisy chain these on and on and on to give you the most ridiculous amount of storage, probably more than you could ever, ever use. 
Now, huge also additions onto this box is the App Store. You can download and install a whole range of different applications onto this NAS or this Direct Attached Storage or whatever you want to call it. This is the same for every single QNAP box that is out there. Look at all of these applications. Very easy to install, just one click away from any application that you want. And one of my favorites is this one. This is a virtualization station. Now in here we can create virtual machines. So this is very similar to something like VMware for example or Hyper-V from Microsoft. And I can go away and create virtual machines in here. So if I now want to run a Windows operating system without taking up resources on my actual computer, I can create one on here, I can connect up to it, and I can use that Windows box or any different operating system I want exactly the same as I would if it was a physical machine sat next to me. And again, the speed of this thing, absolutely phenomenal. Just look how quickly we can uh, copy this file, which is a 4 gigabyte file. It is so fast, it's absolutely outrageous. And if you want to take the performance one step further, you can simply remote desktop onto it and use it as a networked computer. Anyway, guys, that is a little advancement in my setup. Like I say, I'm going to be bringing you a full setup tour very, very soon. Please do go ahead and hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video or if you're excited about the setup tour. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already and I will see you all in the next one. See ya.